saving effect presets with the 11 rank. So I've touched on this subject a couple times in previous videos, but I thought I'd do a video dedicated to just saving effect presets. So we'll get right to it. So here from the 11 rack on screen editor window in Pro Tools, look down here to this gray bar that's separating our rig chain from the graphical representation of the effect. We look up here where it says effect preset. Now we all know we can save entire rigs, the entire rig chain, every setting, the amp, every effect, etc. We can save that as a rig and we do that from the big save button here. We know that. But you can also save individual effect settings as well. So we'll say that we really like this parametric EQ setting and I'd like to use these exact settings at least as a starting point on other rigs I create. Well I could try and remember all of these individual settings but I'm probably going to forget some of them and we'll have to keep referring back and forth between rigs saving each time I switch back and forth between the rig so I don't lose my uh, current setting. Or I could try writing down the parameters on a sheet of paper or in notepad, etc. There's a much easier way. Using effect presets, click this little down arrow right here and we can just choose save settings. Now I'm going to suggest that you always, always choose save setting as. Now the reason you want to choose save setting as instead of save settings is if you save a certain effect with certain settings using save setting and then later you make minimal adjustments and you want to save that as, as a second separate setting and you end up choosing save settings while you have that first setting loaded you end up overriding that first setting that you had saved okay that sounds a little complicated but it's not so we'll just look at it real quick here so I'll choose save settings and right here I'll save my settings we'll call this test one click save all right, now we can see here in this box that test one is loaded. We click the down arrow, we see test one is loaded. So now we'll make a change here. This right now is on 266.6 hertz. So we'll change this to say 596 hertz. And I'll play through my guitar and okay, say we really like this also. And we'd like to use this as an option as well. So we'll click this down arrow and we'll click save setting. Oh, well what happened? My box didn't come up. Well, that's because we had this setting loaded, we click save, so we overwrote it. So now even if I go to click test one, well now you better hope you remember your setting beforehand. So what you want to do every time I suggest, when you click this down arrow, choose save setting as every time. Call this test two, save, click the down arrow on this box, test one settings, test two settings. So that's very easy and very useful. Now you can do the same thing with all of your different effects, compressors, choruses, flangers, phasers, even just the amp, cab, and mic settings. So if the amp and the cab and the mic and the speaker breakup happen to be on the screen and you click the little down arrow here and you choose save setting as, and I'll just name this uh, Mesa 333, click save. All right, there we go. And we can recall this, just this amp setting here anytime we want. So if I were to change rigs, I'll click this down arrow, choose Mesa 333, and it immediately drops in just the amp and the cab settings. You see the effects did not change at all because it's not a full rig setting, it's just an effect setting. So the effects presets area can be very useful and very time saving. So something else that would make the effect preset area useful would be say we download a rig. We'll just pretend I downloaded this rig. I play through the rig, I think it's okay, but I don't really like it that much. I'm probably not going to keep it loaded on my 11 rack and I might forget that it's saved on my computer in a rig file somewhere but I do like the chorus setting I think chorus setting is you know great and I'd like to use this chorus setting on many different rigs well again I could try to remember the settings I could write down the settings I eh, forget that come here to effect presets save setting as choose it I like this chorus save there we go. So now if this was a rig we had downloaded and maybe installed on our rack and now we're going to overwrite it or go to another rig or create a new rig setting and we'll create our new rig and we'll say, ah, I want to try that multi-chorus that was from that other rig. I didn't like the rig, but I like the chorus. So we'll come here. We'll choose, I like this chorus. Boom, there's our settings and you're good to go. So always remember when you're downloading rigs, if you don't like the full rig, you know, that's fine. If there's something in the rig you like, you can always save just that setting, just those parameters, and recall just those in your own rigs and make your own creations. You can do the same thing from the uh, factory banks. So say, so I'm here in the factory bank, and I'll say I play through this rig. It's okay, but it's just not quite what I'm wanting. But I really like this graphic EQ setting. Well, I can do just the same thing. Press the down arrow, 
save setting as it immediately drops me into the root folder I'll get into that in a minute I'll give this a name of a uh, country FX you can give it any name you like click save and there you go now whenever you choose the graphic EQ you'll be able to load up these settings by just coming over to this drop down area and choosing country FX so if I were to come here to FX1 and load the graphic EQ press the down arrow country FX there's my setting I come to another rig load up the graphic EQ country effects there's my effects settings perfect so now we'll look a little deeper into some of the other options in the effects presets menu here